Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you some hidden settings that are buried deep down somewhere. So most users may not be aware, like changing the accent colors, the fonts, and the icon shapes, and also taking your messages onto the laptop or on the web. I'm sure at least you will take away a couple of settings from here. So guys, if you are new to the channel, subscribe and also like this video. Let's begin. So let's start off with a bit of theming. You don't really have too many options in the stock Android, but there is a way to customize it a little bit. Go into the settings and about phone and uh, click on that build number rapidly for about seven times and uh, enter your password and you will get the developer options in the system advanced settings. Go all the way down and here you'll find some theming options. You can change the accent color, font and also the icon shape. There are a few options. So you can see I did change the accent color and uh, I chose the black because uh, it looks a little bit stealthy and uh, there's only one font available which is sad but this is what you get and uh, let me also show you the icon shapes uh, so let me choose this quirkle I cannot really show you all of them but you can try them for yourself so let me just show you how this thing looks so you can see this is the icon shape as you can see and let me also pull down the status bar so you can see the accent color that turned into black yes it's very limited but let's hope they bring more stuff soon enough Anyway, moving on to the next one. This is a very minor thing. You don't have to do anything. But recently I discovered that when you get a message or any notification, just pressing and holding on that notification on the lock screen, you can actually preview it and also take some actions as you can see. And uh, these are basically contextual and uh, they kind of change. Call me a noob, but I didn't find this until very recently. But I find this very, very useful. Moving on to the next one, this is about sharing your Wi-Fi passwords. It can get a bit awkward when someone walks in and asks for your Wi-Fi password. You don't really have to give your password. You can just go into the Wi-Fi settings and generate this QR code in seconds as you can see on the screen. Just have them scan this QR code and they will be connected to your Wi-Fi without sharing the password. And to actually scan the QR code, go into the Wi-Fi settings and click on this. And that's how you can scan a QR code for sharing Wi-Fi passwords. The next one is spam control. We all get unwanted calls. To get rid of these, go into your phone styler and click on the three dot button. And here, go into the settings. And here, you'll find a couple of options. Go into the call ID and spam. And here, you can choose to filter spam calls. Or you can also go back and here you can also select the blocked numbers and here you can also simply choose to block calls from unidentified callers or you can simply add manually any number that you want to block so you don't get disturbed from the spam callers. The next one is a little tip to improve your device performance. Go into the settings battery and here click on the adaptive battery and just disable this. It basically restricts some apps in the background. By disabling this, it can bump up the performance a little bit. Let me know guys how this works for you. This is one of the coolest thing. You can take your messaging on the web. I mean, going to your messaging and click on the three dot button and here, choose the messages for web option as you can see over here. Now here you will be asked to scan the QR code on your laptop or PC. So what you can do is uh, open up your laptop and go into this website address and here the QR code is generated automatically and you can also choose to remember this computer for further messaging as well without having to set up again. Now pull out your phone and scan this QR code and that's pretty much it. It will start working instantly as you can see here. It's pretty much all set. So now I can actually access all my messaging on the web on a laptop or a PC and uh, I can type stuff and I also manage all the texting stuff. So this is really, really cool. Let me know what you think guys. So that's been it guys. If you found any of the tricks, at least one trick helpful, please like this video. Also subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you soon.